CataractCoach.com. More from her ASC arrest course. Oh, yeah, this is a great one. Oh, snap. This is an important one. It's so important, <laughs> I'm going to show it in slow motion. This is called Oh, snap. Anonymous guest surgeon sent the video in. Nice looking Rexus. Video sped up here a little bit. Watch carefully. Learning the ominous snap sign. So, there's the hydrosection cannula. And watch carefully. What's that? So let's watch it again, regular speed. You gotta commit this to your brain, that. That right there. At one third speed, I gotta show you again. There's the hydrosection fluid wave going around. The cannula is right there on top, preventing the nucleus from coming up. Pow, snap like that. And again, one more time in regular speed, just so this is absolutely hammered home and you never forget this the rest of your career. Regular speed again, here you go, ready? And snap. Boom. Now, what does that mean? A, the poster cabinet just split. B, floppy iris syndrome ipis. C, time for iris. D, denial never happened. <laughs> e, fear. What do we do here? What is going on here, guys? Panel, what we got? Hey. The posterior capsule just split, but if it was you doing the surgery, you'd be in denial. <laughs> you, she's like my sister, my best friend. You're the meanest sister. <laughs> you know how fragile yeah. my ego is? He's my big brother by two days. You're right. So, okay, so that's the posterior capsule just split. No other possibilities? It's not, it's not like flopper air syndrome? No, I don't think so, because you, you saw that change in the, in the um, kind of the volume. Uh, the key is when you do, I love cortical cleaving hydrodissection. Yeah. I love going just right under the intercapsule. But the key thing is when you see that nucleus coming up, you have to blot the nucleus down to let the fluid come all the way around. So what do you think about the idea that putting the, the cannula is placed right in the middle of the nucleus to kind of prevent it from coming up? Wouldn't it be better to hydrosect to the sides? To, if the nucleus wants to come up, it has room? Well, you've, no. got to, you've got to tilt down. So the problem there was that they were injecting fluid not and keeping pressure on a moderately dense nucleus, not allowing that fluid to go anywhere. So if a fluid has nowhere to go, it's going to go posteriorly. But, and that's right okay, now. that makes sense. So you need to, I agree with the blotting, but if you have pressure right from the beginning, then you're going to have uh, the fluid go posteriorly. Well, we'll get some iris hooks in. And so now, going ahead with nucleus removal, here's a groove down the middle. So they thought it was floppy iris? I'm not sure. So groove down the middle. Again, we're all here to learn together, so I'm really honored that people submit these cases, and we obviously keep them anonymous. But that's how we learn from each other. So watch carefully. The video is sped up, so it's really not that jerky at real time. But just so you get the idea, it's trying to get the nucleus rotated. So there's rotating. It's lucky it hasn't fallen back yet. Well, no. And then right. now, so you the now let's see. Yeah. It looks pretty right. deep. It looks pretty deep back there. There's the rotations again. I pretty deep. They're and then now, lucky. buzzing in again with the pro. Oh, okay. Now what do you think? Now, we're gonna, you're going to see more and more of these. You're going to have a lot more patients who have individual injections damage to the posterior capsule. That's relatively common now. Certainly increasing with, you know, millions of individual injections done a year. So, other than, other than uh, making funny faces, what are you going to do now, Rosa? So, I would stop at this point and not continue doing this. And I would, again, inject viscoelastic. But not only in the AC, oh, I would have injected viscoelastic behind this lens, like almost done a visco dissection, and pulled all of this up into the AC. I mean, he's lucky it hasn't dropped back yet. That's the way I, or she, I don't know who it is. But. Um, so we're now here. He came out of there, convert to MIC, MSICS, continue FACO, insert CABS hooks, insert IRS hooks, search cataractcoach.com. <laughs> or refer to your colleague. Okay, what do you want to do? So you, have, you want to get the, so you want viscoelastic to bring the nucleus up above the iris? Yes, ah, yes, that's absolutely. What I would do. And then I would FACO in the AC again with, with viscoid as a scaffold. So put a, put a sca scaffold like, in? No, a viscoid scaffold. Oh, just viscoelastic. So viscoelastic, nucleus up in the AC, viscoelastic kind of blocking the pupil, stay in the, would you change any parameters, lower flow to not watch the viscoelastic or something? Yeah. So cut the flow in half, let's say. Not too much. It's, it looks relatively dense too, so you've got to take that into account. But um, 
I mean, you could do an M6 too here and pull it out, but you're going to have vitreous following it if you do that. I think. Yeah, no, for sure. I, th I think. I think that nucleus is already entangled with vitreous. I think that's why it was so difficult to get that nucleus rotated, because mm -hmm. it's already nucleus is already entangled with vitreous. I think that the issue is already already there. On these ones, I can't help but think, God, if you did the hydro dissection on the sides, it would have yeah. been better than going right across. But the it would have even been better if you realized no? what had happened. Yeah, I don't think that makes a difference where you okay. put the hydro dissection cannula. I think the key is to be mindful of how deep that posterior capsule is getting, how much fluid entrapment there is, and just remembering to blot, let the fluid come around. So just don't keep on injecting. Okay, so here's going back to the pro. It looks real deep now. Real deep. <laughs> real, there you go. <laughs> Woo! Oh, snap. All right. Oh, boy. Oh. There it is. You want to reach for it? Fish for it? Anyone? Yikes. Yikes, yikes. So obviously capsule, there you go, wide open. There it goes. Oh, Let it just go. Oh. It's right there. I don't know. It seems, let me tell you, it seems like it's right there. It's almost never right there. So you wouldn't advise going after that, would you? So have you dropped a nucleus? Yes, of course we all have. Yes, will I plead the fifth? No, because I don't operate, or no, because I'm not truthful. <laughs> Everyone in the audience, if you drop the nucleus, raise your hand. Everyone. Look around, whoever's hand is down is either a neuro-ophthalmologist or they lie. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's neuro-ophthalmologist, you're in the wrong room. I don't know a dang thing about optic nerves. So yeah, this happens to everyone. I mean, I have a video of me dropping a nucleus from an, a nurse on an individual injection. I do hydrodesic action, I go with the Fago Pro, and boom, immediately drops. Yeah. So sometimes but, it can drop because it could be an undiagnosed posterior polar. Yeah. You've got a really dense or white cataract, that could be an undiagnosed posterior polar. Your comment about post injections. Yep. You really got to look at the posterior capsule and see if there's a linear line on it because it could be a weak posterior capsule. Um, I'll have to say that when I was a resident, uh, the one thing that caused me to drop a nucleus was the fact that I didn't hydrodissect well enough mm. and kept rotating and rotating and trying to rotate and finally rotated the nucleus onto the optic nerve. So I'll never forget that either. And, and so that's how you learned to polish the optic that nerve. That was it. That was in my, see, I was way ahead of the game as a resident. And, and so those are all things. There are things that are unavoidable, and then there are things that are avoidable. I want to emphasize, too, there's zero medical legal risk that I've dropped. It's a known complication. Yeah. The risk is fishing for it in the vitreous. Absolutely. That's yep. giant retinal tear and a lot of problems. Let it go. Let it go. And Let then share the love and the liability with your retina specialist. Yes. <laughs> and the other thing is anybody with a history of intravitreal injections, I look really carefully at the posterior yep. capsule preoperatively. Yeah. Check. And if there's 